Hey, welcome back everybody to another episode of Dolphin's Log for Ether Gazer, month of September 2024. So, let's get right into it. Looks like I've got a Simon bonus here. So, do I remember who I rolled for last time? Um, who was it again? Was it Sekhmet? I think Sekhmet was our last quote-unquote new uh, character. I mean, technically we have her. We have Luwu. But, to be honest with you, I'm not really too, inter too interested in her. Because um, I think she's light. Technically, I really should roll for her. Uh, because I actually don't have a great uh, light DPS. Uh, like, my strongest light character is Hera, but she's not exactly a DPS herself. Like, obviously, she's re she's mainly meant to be a support. Best support in the game, but a DPS? I, I mean, I suppose if you build her that way, sure. But I, I don't think... Pretty sure my Hera is not built to be a DPS. So, yeah. Because uh, between her or who are my other light DPSs? Like, Tyre or Tyr, Tyre, however you say his name. I mean, technically he is built, but he's not like Omega invested into. I suppose I could invest into him pretty pretty heavily, because he is double S rank, but... Uh, I think, um, Athena is physical, so she's not quite light damage, yeah. The emblems are different. Uh, what was Marduk again? He's physical, I think. Yeah, I just don't have a lot of, um, a lot of good light DPSs. If any at all, like, Tyre is pretty much the only one. Um, what was, uh, well, yeah, uh, well, who was it? A rank hair is obviously fire. I don't know why I thought she would be any, any, anything else. Let's see. A rank for Hondi is, uh, thunder or, or electric or lightning or whatever the fuck. Yeah, is there, uh, do I have any other light character? I don't think so. I mean, I, I guess technically drowsy is light, but I think she's a weird character where she does both light and shadow damage. And besides, I use her exclusively uh, with Hades anyway because they they have a uh, an ultimate chain uh, an ultimate skill chain together. So and I hardly know how to play her because again, she's just meant to be a uh, an alt bot with uh, with Hades. So <laughs> there's that. So yeah, yeah, I really should roll for Luwu, but eh, I don't really I don't really feel like it, man. Um. I think I mentioned before, but now that I have, like, three or four solid teams... Actually, at that five, because instead of rolling for Luwu, I realized that, um... Who is it? Uh, Luliang is on raid up right now. Um, I'm deciding on whether or not I want to roll for her. Right now, I haven't rolled for a copy of her. But what I did do was I rolled for her, um, access key. Or her... Not access... Not access key. Her unique functor. Where the, where the fuck is she actually? There she is. And so now I have it. So now I can confidently build. Um, I can confidently go for a uh, a Ying Zhao and Lu Liang uh, wind team because I believe they're both wind, right? Wind. And then Lu Liang is also wind. Yeah, so they're both wind. Because I have noticed that sometimes, because main, my, my main wind team would technically be S rank Osiris, because she's wind. Um, but I always use her in the trace team, in a trace team with, um, with Bastet and Thor. And Bastet is shadow, and then Thor is lightning, obviously. So they're more of like a mixed bag of like, they're, they're more of a flex team, where it's like, oh... Uh, this stage is calling for, you know, oh, this stage in, like, Recurring Dream uh, has a boss this week to win. Then I'll, I'll just default to, um, you know, using my my Estranko Cyrus team, the Trace team. But sometimes I want to use them for another another Recurring Dream boss, too. Not that really matters, because it's not like Recurring Dream, even at the highest difficulty, is all that, is all, is all that difficult nowadays. Um... But yeah, it'd be it'd be nice if I could have another dead like a dedicated win team, like I, like how I have like a dedicated like I don't even want, I don't want to say water team because my strongest water character is Gang Chen and I hardly I have hardly invested into my other water characters at all. Um, I suppose I could invest into Oceanus, but then again, I don't have his access key either. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. 
But in any case, uh, elemental DPS aside, uh, like my desire to like roll for new characters, even even for like waifu characters, well, it doesn't help that um, I don't I don't really feel one way or for, or another for Luwu. I mean, she's got that under boob. She's got that under T, that's for sure. And her her splash art here doesn't show it, but her um, her three D model certainly does. I think if I go into her her trial here, you can you can really see it. Right, what was she again right here? Start trial. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Too bad you can't spin her around. But you can kind of see it. You get the idea. But yeah, I haven't really felt the need to really roll for her. Also, I tried looking up like the most recent tier list on on the Chinese server. It doesn't look like they have a lot a lot of like new characters coming out. Like I I think I only counted like one or two new uh, S ranks that I didn't recognize. Um, so I'm kind of wondering how far ahead the Chinese server is. Um, it does it also doesn't help that En Ethergazer the community here is extremely small. At least that's the sense that I get. Uh, this game is not very popular at all. Like, I would really love to know, like, how many players are even... How many players this game even has at this point. Um, honestly, I feel like this game is more popular... Is actually more popular in Japan, con just considering... I mean, yeah, obviously. Like, what kind of a statement was that? Yeah, duh, gotcha games are more popular in Japan. Let fucking tell, tell us something we don't know, Captain Obvious. But, um... The reason why I mentioned the the reason why I decided to even mention that at all was because I was watching an IRL streamer on Twitch, uh, an IRL streamer that I follow, uh, named what Rob CD or whatever, and he likes to travel around Tokyo mainly. Uh, he likes traveling to other places too, but mainly he uh, does a lot of IRL streams uh, around the Tokyo area, right? I think a recent stream of his in, in like the past week or so was when he. Uh, wandered into like the Yostar shop, the main Yostar shop in Tokyo. I forget exactly where, like which which district, maybe Shinjuku or whatever. I don't know, but uh, I noticed that yeah, Ether Gazer is published by Yostar. So and so they had Ether Gazer merch up there. And I was like, what the fuck? That's surprising that they even that they would even have any merch for that game at all. Like I wasn't aware that Ether Gazer was that popular enough to warrant having merch for, but it was there. <laughs> I mean, then again, it is a Yo again. It's a Yostar. It's a Yostar published game. So, I mean, yeah, d they should have merch for it there, regardless of how popular or unpopular it is. You know, because if they don't have it, then it'd be kind of embarrassing. But yeah, just kind of put into perspective, you know, like you know how unknown this game is, relatively speaking. So yeah, kind of curious as to how how um, how the community, how big the communities are, both for EN and for JP. So, I say this because I'm a little bit concerned about the future, con the like future content for this game. Because like, if the CN tier list didn't have a whole bunch of uh, new characters for me to see, because typically speaking, every new character that they put out is at least tier one. Um, maybe maybe they put out some tier two new units, but that seems uncharacteristic of the Ether Gazer devs to do. So. Uh, I may have to check the the most recent CN tier lists again to see if there's there are more characters that I have just missed uh, that I, that I don't recognize because that would mean that they're new characters. But I don't know, man. So far, I've only seen one or two, so not sure what's going on there. Uh, in any case, let's see. Is there anything else I gotta talk about? Uh, I have recently started working on uh, optimizing Thor's sigils. Because uh, for all this time, for like a year, they haven't been optimized at all. Um, I am still in, I'm still optimizing them. I've spent, I think, the past 500 fucking gold sigils trying to get an appropriate second uh, enhancement here for this particular sigil. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have to luck sack and roll like a thunder uh, enhancement because like I have not been getting any attack or any crit um, enhancement at all. So... Fuck me, man. And not to mention, I want to get rid of- I want to re-roll these Gladiator ones, too, because, like, Gladiator enhancements are just not that good for most characters. But, you know, they're there for time being, because at least it's somewhat helpful. It's better than fucking Loopback, at least. God knows why- why you, you would want Loopback on Thor, who fucking, you know, gets her- gets her ultimate, like, in three seconds. <laughs> so, yeah. 
been working on been working on that. I'm pretty sure Jinnae's enchantments are all enhanced now, or are, are all uh, optimized, yeah. Got a couple of loopbacks, because uh, I spam everybody. I, I spam her uh, ult skill chain with S-rank Buzembo Tengu and S-rank Sukuyomi. So there's that. Speaking of S-rank uh, Buzembo Tengu, I'm pretty sure all of her enchants should also be uh, optimized as well, yep, as they are. Just to double check, I want to make sure that S rank Buzemo Tengu's uh, enchantments are all optimized. Yep, they are. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see here. I think I've also been working on transcending. Um, uh, who is it? S rank Osiris's um, unique functor. As you can see, she's at tier four now. Uh, so, I'm going to wait until I can pick up another 30 Transcendence Crystals uh, to get her to Tier 5. Let's see if I recall anything else. Oh, I did buy, you guys have probably noticed this already, but I bought the Summer Skins for Ying Zhao. Oh, that, she's not, that's not a Summer Skin. And, um, Jinwoo, yeah, almost forgot her name. Jinwoo. I'm sure you guys already saw this before, but I also picked up the picked up the new party skin for for uh, Hera. Uh, I believe Hades' summer skin was surprisingly free. So yeah, there's that. And then I forget if Poseidon Esther Poseidon's skin was free too or not, or if you had to pay for it. But it's there. I have it. As for everyone else, obviously I picked up the schoolgirl skin for her. I did say that I didn't pick up the skin for a segment because honestly I think her default outfit is hotter. And then same thing for a uh, Gang Chen skin. I'm aware that Gang Chen does have a skin out right now that I can buy, the office lady one. But again, same deal is like, well, why would I ever use that when I literally spent like 90 bucks to get this skin? So, and again, the skin is way better than her office lady skin anyway. It's not like the office skin is bad or anything. It's actually pretty good, but like, eh. When I'm trying to save money here, and I'm trying to, I'm actively trying not to spend too much on gacha games, considering my I, my ongoing IRL troubles. Yeah, no. So, we'll stick with this skin. Uh, any other skin woes? I think Athena... Also has a skin a skin out right now. It looks really good actually, because um, I believe this skin was they gave it was a it was an event reward or something, so a free skin. And this one is the one that you have to pay for. She actually looks really she actually looks really good in this one. Fucking slurring my words right now. Um, mainly because of the black and red uh, color palette. This looks f I love black and red. Uh, top tier color palette by the way. So, like, if I were, if I actually used Athena seriously, like, I would buy the skin in a heartbeat, but I don't, so... Mm. Tough choice there, I guess. But, yeah. I think that should be about it for this video. Not sure what else to talk about here. That's how the account is, uh, looking like. So, yeah, the next team that I'm gonna focus on building is the... my second win team, technically. Or I suppose I should call it my dedicated win team, with the uh, Ying Zhao and Lu Liang. I just have to figure out, or I just have to decide on um, who my third, who their third is gonna be. So I'll probably look up some information on that, on to see like which third teammate that uh, they wanna, that they'd really like to work with, or that they really work with well. But other than that, I think that's about it. So thanks for watching, everybody, and catch you guys next month. Peace.